Kendrick Nunn has been cleared to work out. So what can we expect from Kendrick Nunn? Okay, it's it's literally feels like it's been forever since we've seen Kendrick Nunn in a basketball uniform. But hey, shout out the Athletics, Johan Buha, Jovan Buha. Hopefully I said that correctly. He was there. He saw it all go down, and he said this basically: Kendrick Nunn was in was clear to increase contact in workouts over the past two plus weeks sources tell Jovan Buha of the athletic the latest on the Lakers he wrote and I think it's a it's definitely an interesting situation because now with Pat Bev like Kendrick Nunn first off I want to hear your thoughts down below what do you guys think Kendrick Nunn's stats or impact is going to be because people forget about Kendrick Nunn as he has not played basketball since 2020 and which Kendrick Nunn are we going to get? There was Kendrick Nunn in 2019, and then there was Kendrick Nunn in 2020. Okay. And one could say Kendrick Nunn in 2020 was a better shooter, but Kendrick Nunn in 2019 was the better all-around player, arguably. And I don't, I mean, if he can be a 15 points per night score for this team, I'm absolutely shocked. And Kendrick Nunn has a career defensive rating of 112.8. So he's not a guy that we're going to sit here and be like, oh my God, he's such a good defender. He's he's, an, he's, uh, he's barely a league average defender. Might not even be considered a league average defender. But what do I expect from him? I mean, I don't know if he's going to be playing 29 minutes a night. If he's playing 20, I could see him being like a 10 points per night guy. But now... With Pat Bev there, Pat Bev's 3 and D skill set is, you know, will improve the team's spacing and reduce Westbrook's defensive responsibilities. And look, I I love, you know, Kendrick, Kendrick Nunn and what he's able to do, okay? And for me, the Beverly addition improves the Lakers roster both and off the court. Arguably, he's their best shooter at least on paper, and the most accomplished and consistent perimeter defender. He's going to be, he isn't going to be an outright locker leader. That'll always be James, but he's going to hold teammates accountable and push buttons when he feels appropriate, which of course is really often. And the thing is, is, I mean, I love Pat Bev. This is how I play basketball, diving for loose balls, boxing out, rotating, rotating on string, on the string, making the extra pass, communicating early and often defensively. If you guys ever play with me at the rec or just thing, I mean, I'm playing five on five and like I'm I'm like six one, okay, with and I'm usually the shortest guy that I, I'm with. Eh, you know, there's sometimes one or two guys, but I usually try to play with guys who played AEU or high school, so everyone's between the height of like six four and like six seven, six eight. So I'm usually, you know, for me, I always look for the most competition. I always think about this when if you guys play pickup basketball, I'm not trying like sometimes, you know, I'll play with whoever's there. And sometimes it's kid that kids that I'm more athletic than and I'm not the most athletic kid there. So if I'm more athletic than you, I'm, I'm going to have a field day. But I usually try to play against guys who are bigger than me and, you know, that I know that are probably more skilled than me as they play at higher level just to improve. That's how you improve. And. Diving for loose balls is my favorite thing. They call I'm usually at the rec. I'm called King Hustle because I'm like Duncan Robinson on offense. People are always like, "You're gonna get tired" because I don't stop moving. And then on defense, I'm diving for balls, boxing out, jumping over, switching everything. And Pat Bev's one of the reasons why I do that. It's because you know watching Pat Bev be this confident, self-assured player as a role player is something that I love. And I think Kendrick Nunn over here. Like, he's a good player. Like, look at how he bought into the heat with Jimmy that season. Like, there is, I think, potential for Kendrick Nunn to be this team's sixth man. I know it's Lonnie Walker who we're expecting. But let's be honest. Kendrick Nunn could be a guy who come in and do a little bit of everything for them. He's arguably their backup point guard now. Or one of their backup point guards. And I, I do think it's just an interesting situation just to see how it all, it's all going down. But I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of Kendrick Nunn? And yeah, that's that's basically it. I think, well, I want to hear. Yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys do enjoy this day, today. But that's basically it for me. Goodbye and have a good one because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Puppies. Oh.